Scientific notations, and standard notations, or decimal notations, and how to use calculators in solving problems with standard notations. Scientific notations is a simpler way of writing, really really big, or, really really small numbers. Do you have any idea, how wide is our universe? This estimation is quite very very large. And do you know the size of the hydrogen atom? It's actually that tiny. These very large and very small numbers are written in standard notation, or decimal notation, the length of these numbers, makes them awkward to work with. However, we can use the shorter and easier way, the scientific notation. Scientists are really very smart. They decided that by using powers of 10, they can create short versions of long numbers. This is the scientific notation. To be in proper scientific notation, the number must be written with a number between 1 and 10 and multiplied by a power of 10. This number is not in proper scientific notation. Why? The number 27 is not in between 1 and 10. This is an example of a proper scientific notation. 4.8 is in between 1 and 10. Also, note that there is only one non-zero digit before the decimal point. This is the proper scientific form. The AE must be between 1 and 10. And the N must be an integer. Going back to the size of the universe, notice that the decimal is after the last zero. And to make this number between 1 and 10, we should put the decimal between the two eights. So, what we did is move the decimal point 27 places. And, since the original number is more than 1, the exponent in the scientific notation must be positive. Thus, the answer is 8.8 .8 times 10 to the power 27. Going back to the size of the hydrogen atom, note the where the decimal point is, to make this number between 1 and 10, we have to move the decimal point between 1 and 2. So, what we did is move the decimal point 8 places. And, since the original number is less than 1, the exponent in the scientific notation must be negative. Thus, the answer is 1.2 times 10 to the power negative 8. Let's try to convert these from scientific notation, to decimal notation. The speed of light in vacuum, and the magnitude of the charge of the electron. For the speed of light in vacuum, notice that the exponent is positive 8. This means, we have to move the decimal point 8 places to the right. For the magnitude of charge of an electron, notice that the exponent is negative 19. This means, we have to move the decimal point 19 places to the left. Take note, the sign of the exponent tells which direction to move the decimal point. If the exponent is positive, move the decimal point to the right, and for an exponent with negative sign, 
move the decimal point to the left. So, why does a negative exponent give us a small number? First look at this. Now, do you see a pattern? The exponent says how many times to use the number in a multiplication. Next, look at this. Again, do you see a pattern? The exponent with the negative sign says how many times to divide the number. Write 1.35 times 10 to the power 5 in standard decimal notation. Since exponent is positive 5, move the decimal 5 places to the right. Answer is 135,000. Write 2.7 times 10 to the power minus 3 in standard decimal notation. Since exponent is negative 3, move the decimal 3 places to the left. Answer is 0 0.0027. Write 2.01 times 10 to the power 4 in standard decimal notation. Since the exponent is positive 4, Move decimal 4 places to the right. Answer is 20,100. Write 2.87 times 10 to the power 9 in standard decimal notation. Since exponent is positive 9, move the decimal 9 places to the right. Answer is 2,870,000,000. Write 1.9 times 10 to the power minus 5 in standard decimal notation. Since exponent is negative 5, move the decimal 5 places to the left. Answer is 0 0.000019. Write 38150.9 in scientific notation. Since the number is greater than 1, Exponent must be positive. And, you need to move decimal right four places to go back to the number. Answer is 3.81509 times 10 to the power 4. Write 735.12 times 10 to the power 5 in scientific notation. Since the coefficient of number is greater than 1, resulting exponent must be positive. And notice, that you need to move decimal right two places to go back to the number, then combine, so, the final exponent is positive 7. Answer is 7.3512 times 10 to the power 7. Write 0 0.00009743 times 10 to the power 9 in scientific notation. Since the coefficient of number is less than 1, resulting exponent must be negative. And notice, that you need to move decimal left 5 places to go back to the number. Then combine, 9 and minus 5, so, the final exponent is positive 4. Answer is 9.7431 times 10 to the power 4. Here are some problem exercises on converting standard decimal notation, to scientific notation. Again, if number in decimal notation is greater than 1. In scientific notation the exponent is positive. If number in decimal notation is less than 1. In scientific notation the exponent is negative. Here are some problem exercises on converting numbers in scientific notation, to standard decimal notation.
Again take note, if exponent is positive, move decimal to the right. If exponent is negative, move decimal to the left. On the scientific calculator, scientific notation is done with either the EXP key or the caret key. Both the EXP key and the caret key raises the number to an exponent or power. Thus, the number 7.38 times 10 to the power 9 is typed as 7.38 then exponential key, then 9 or, 7.38 times 10, then carat key, then 9. Use the scientific calculator to evaluate. 3.4 times 10 to the power minus 5, divided by, 1.7 times 10 to the power minus 2. Simply type. Type 3.4 then exponential key, then minus 5, then division key, then 1.7, then exponential key, then minus 2. You may also do this. Type parenthesis, then 3.4 times 10, then caret key, then minus 5, parenthesis then division key, then parenthesis, then 1.7 times 10, then caret key, then minus 2, parenthesis. Take note. In this case, make sure to always include the parenthesis. Answer is 2.0 times 10 to the power minus 3.